Okay guys, Bo Beatty here, Llama Life, part one of doing proper bear hangs. Gotta have the right equipment. So spend a little money, do a little research, and get the right equipment. We're gonna go ahead and break down the different equipment you need and why. Basically, the first thing you need, if you can't do bear hang, unless you have rope. So if you're doing an ultralight uh, bear hang, back, backpacking, lifting 30 pounds or less into a tree, paracord is kind of my go-to. The reason why I like high quality paracord, um, it's easy to work with, it's light, it's very, very strong. You can use it for a lot of different purposes. And I use this for my tarps um, when I need a shelter, immediate shelter, or have a, a kitchen um, shelter or anything like that. So paracord is just kind of my go-to. You can use smaller cord if you'd want to, um, but this is just kind of a great way of doing bear hangs if you're doing ultralight backpacking. So paracord and I always like to use a bright color one because it's easy to find easier to find in the dark and, uh, and it's kind of my little my little token if you see me with orange paracord <laughs> or you see it in a tree you can bet that my tent somewhere close so paracord is a, a must if you're gonna do ultralight backpacking hangs um, you can use smaller cord you can use bigger cord I don't recommend using bigger cord and the reason is it just it's not necessary if you're not gonna be hanging a ton of weight and then having carabiners. So for ultralight backpacking um, type bear hangs, having a couple carabiners goes a long ways. And I prefer locking carabiners. Um, I have a lot of different styles and types. The lighter, you can, lighter and stronger you can go, obviously the better. And if you can get locking carabiners, um, I definitely recommend it. And the reason is, is when you get into doing a bear hang um, using the PCT method, having a locking carabiner is really, really helpful in case you're in a big windstorm and your bear hangs in a tree getting spun around. And I'll explain that to you later when we go over uh, the PC to me method of doing bear hangs. So carabiners, really helpful and important when doing any kind of bear hang, really. So when you're doing um, an outfitter type bear hang where you're hanging you know, up to a couple hundred pounds of gear, I recommend getting a higher, um, <clears throat> both width, strength, and, and um, material of rope to use. And this is called, most commonly referred to as ABC rope. Um, they do it, use it a lot for mountaineering and rescuing and just all kind of multi-purpose. It's really strong. It's a dual, it has an outer core and an inner core. It's really easy to work with and it's seven millimeter. It's kind of my preference. If you look in the description below the video, we'll actually link where you can buy this on Amazon. Um, a spool of 300 feet, depending on the color and when you buy it is, uh, whoa. <laughs> is uh, about $100. So seven millimeter cord for doing the base of your bear hangs. And if you're gonna do, be doing uh, bear hangs with a lot of weight, then there's a couple things you need to take into account. And that is having um, some cord of equal quality and strength that's just a little bit smaller. And the reason is, is you're gonna tie the small rope eventually onto the big rope to tie a different knot. And so you have, have to have a little bit smaller diameter. So this is five millimeter cord and could be great for just hanging up carabiners or for doing knots on the big seven millimeter rope. So I like to have, when I go to my rope, I like a 60 foot bear hang. And 50 feet of paracord when you're doing a backcountry, um, a backpack style bear hang is, is plenty. 50 feet usually goes, does everything that I need it to do as far as paracord. So 50 feet of paracord, 60 feet of bear hang, and I also like to have 60 feet of uh, smaller diameter rope as well. So uh, this is five millimeter ABC cord and this is seven millimeter ABC cord. Links to buy this stuff will all be in the description below. And now we'll go over to another important piece. You gotta have some kind of bag. This is a really lightweight bag. I have rocks inside of here to be able to throw up and over trees. We just call it a rock bag. You can buy these little ditty bags um, anywhere. They're really inexpensive. Um, I like to get the ones that are uh, either polyester or nylon braided just so they last a little bit longer and uh, or you don't have to have those but it does make it a lot more helpful if you have sand or pebbles or only rocks and you have no big rocks to throw up and over the tree with your rope <clears throat> so having a rock bag of sorts is really helpful and then we'll go to uh, carib or, uh, pulleys so these are mountaineering rescue pulleys and the cool thing about these pulleys hey you're ruining the shot <laughs> That was, that was uh, Deacon, he's a one-year-old llama boy. So when it comes to uh, mountaineering rescue pulleys, the reason why they're really nice is because you can put them mid-line. So just imagine you're working up the tree, doing something, you realize you need another 
uh, pulley, you can put this in the middle of your line and then connect it with the carabiner versus having another style pulley. This is a regular old farm pulley here. This one doesn't split, and so you have to thread the end of your rope all the way through the pulley every time. And so if you're in the middle of doing a hang and realize you need another pulley or need the pulley in a different position, it's kind of a pain if you have to take everything down and re-thread it. So that's why I highly recommend the mountaineering rescue pulley because you can just, in the middle of your process, grab your rope, throw your carabiner, your pulley on, grab your carabiner, snap it on your mountaineering pulley, and away you go. So they're really handy, pretty inexpensive. I just bought these for 12 bucks off of Amazon, um, which, and they're awesome. Notice that they're also orange, kind of have a fatuation with orange stuff. But uh, really like those rescue pulleys and then having good carabiners. So these are, this is my favorite brand and style of carabiners so far. And they're locking and they're really ultra lightweight. So if you're going to get a smaller size of carabiner, which this is only one size smaller, but you can get much, much smaller. I think you get way more strength with the higher quality, a um, little bit more expensive carabiner. You get more strength, more security, and you get the locking feature. And it's still almost is exactly the same weight. So highly recommend these. I'll put them in the link below. And then if you're be, gonna be cutting cord for the first time, I recommend you know just a simple pocket knife will work and then uh, a lighting torch to be able to burn the ends. Unless you have a fancy cutter, um, if you're cutting a lot of cord, this is kind of the way to go. Okay guys, that's pretty much it as far as gear and equipment goes. Here's everything you really need to have in order to do a proper bear hang in the back country. So, if you don't have this stuff, go ahead and get ordered so you can start doing your bear hangs properly in the backcountry. If you have any comments or questions, just put them in the comment section below. Also, you can go to our uh, channel about us, look up our email, send us an email. So go ahead and click on the next video of how to do proper bear hangs.